Praise God. Najua mengi yamesemwa, mengi atasemwa. But uh, I just wish to share a Bible verse. Um, I'll read from the book of First Corinthians, chapter 13. I'll just read uh, the first 10 verses. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when compl completeness comes, what is in part disappears. Praise God. Praise God again. Naito Mwende Masharia. I know Winnie because our moms were best friends and they used to work together at Two Fishes back in Diani. The dad is the first journalist I knew in my life. And as a result, we were also neighbors. And then uh, Mama Winnie introduced my mom to Ushindi Baptist. And when I had all these things I thought about was her laughter. I have a big laughter, but Winnie's, it was a deep, beautiful laughter from the bottom. Of, so my girl, I'll miss you so much. And rest in peace. Praise God. Uh, my name is Beatrice Juma. Uh, together we are Winnie's close friend. Uh, Winnie brought us together and gave us a name as Soul Sisters. So we were Soul Sister to her. Uh, please allow me to read what uh, we said and uh, we tried to, to summarize what we can say about Winnie. So allow me to read. Today we gather to celebrate the extraordinary life of our beloved friend Winnie. Winnie was more than just a friend. She was a radiant embodiment of true love and loyalty. Her warmth, her warmth was caring. Nature drew us all, creating a bond that felt like family. Winnie had a remarkable gift of connecting with each one of us person on personal level. She understood the importance of nurturing friendship always making time for dinner dates filled with laughter, deep conversation, and the sharing of dreams. In those moments, we felt truly seen and valued. Winnie didn't just listen, she encouraged with her whole heart, ensuring that each one of us felt heard and appreciated. She had an uncanny ability to push us to realize our potential. Her encouragement was a constant reminder that we could be the best versions of ourselves. Even through her own struggle during cancer treatment, she showed us an unwavering strength and inspired us all. Winnie left her pain def did not leave, let her pain define her. Instead, she remained a pillar of support, reaching out to us when we needed it most. Her selflessness was unparalleled, always prioritizing our well-being over her own. Winnie's legacy is one of love, resilience. Losing her has left a void that can never be filled. We are forever grateful for the moments we shared, the lessons she taught us, and the love she poured into our lives. She showed us that tr true friendship knows no boundary, and that even in the darkest times, one can shine brightly. Winnie, thank you for being a beacon of hope, a source of strength, and a true friend. Your spirit will live in, on each one of us, reminding us 
to love fearlessly and to support one another. Though we may never find another friend quite like you, we'll carry your memories in our hearts forever. Rest well, Mama. We will miss you and we love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your condolences. And uh, may God give you uh, strength. Ndugu uh, Zedi Kabla Labda Sijanena, Labda Ukiwa na Jambo Uneza Lisema, Diposa Nikawezi Kumlete Yule Ambaye Anafuata. Asante, Asante Bwana Edwin. Uh, naambiwa ya kwamba wale ambao watakuja kuzungumza hapa jaribu kupaza sauti kidogo ni kuna mmoja wa wananchi humu nchini ambao wametajika sana ambaye amewasili baadaye na tungependa tumpe nafasi aweze kuzungumza sijui unaweza kutupasha habari hiyo asante sana ndugu yangu zedi uh, tunapoangalia miongoni mwetu tuko na watu tajika Na huyo mtu tajika ambaye tunataka tumkaribishe sasa hivi alikuwa ni mmoja kati ya wale producers wa vipindi katika televisheni zetu ambaye ni mtu ambaye kama hujawahi kumuona then labda unaishi nchi nyingine tofauti. Kwa hivyo wakati huu nataka nimkaribishe dada yetu Lulu Hassan. Lulu Hassan mwetu, karibu kumbele Lulu karibu Hassan. Sana. Karibu karibu karibu, karibu kumbele Mtangaz... Lulu Hassan, tafadhali Mtanga... unakaribishwa mtangazaji wetu mashuhuri sana ili ukaweze kunena pamoja na sisi umewaunganisha umeunganisha kikundi hiki hadi hapa ambapo Njo huku. kimefika asante, asante sana naomba usonge hapa tafadhali karibu hapa ili ukaweze uh, kunena pamoja na sisi uh, Lulu sana. Hassan karibu sana unaweza kumpa Lulu Hassan kipaza sauti pole kwa kumpoteza mwenzako wa karibu sana uh, tunakupa nafasi ukaombeleze mwenzako um, habari zenu god is good and all the time na kidogo mtaniruhusu kidogo niweze kusoma jumbe ambayo tumeweza kuiandika sisi kama wanafamilia ndugu dada na rafiki wa wini bwire almaarufu kama dida wa sultana tukiwa tumeandika sisi wote kutoka uh, kampuni yetu ya GF Pictures lakini leo kidogo mtaniruhusu niongee Kiingereza tukiwa na sultana hapa pia Naomba ni mongele di, uh, dida kidogo. 